A robot stands in a laboratory in Warsaw, Poland. It possesses over 1,000 artificial muscles woven throughout its frame. Its skeletal structure mimics human anatomy down to the joints and tendons. This machine can sweat to regulate temperature. Clone Robotics calls it Proto-Clone and it represents one of the most anatomically faithful humanoid robots in an industry that has accelerated dramatically over the past year. Protoclone emerged from Clone Robotics, a Polish company founded in 2021 with a singular focus on biomimetic robotics. The term biomimetic refers to systems that replicate biological structures and functions. Traditional robots rely on electric motors, hydraulics, and rigid metal frames. Protoclone abandons this conventional approach. Instead, it uses artificial muscles made from materials that contract and expand similar to human tissue. These muscles number over 1,000 across the entire system. The robot achieves more than 200 degrees of freedom, meaning its joints and limbs can move in over 200 different directions and angles. Human bodies possess approximately 244 degrees of freedom when accounting for every joint and articulation point. Protoclone approaches this biological benchmark closer than most humanoid platforms currently deployed. The design philosophy driving Protoclone centers on replicating human musculoskeletal architecture. Clone Robotics engineered artificial tendons, ligaments, and skeletal supports that mirror natural counterparts. The hands of Protoclone demonstrate this principle clearly. Each finger contains multiple joints actuated by thin artificial muscles running along synthetic bones. Traditional robotic hands use small motors placed inside the palm or forearm. Protoclone's hands distribute actuation along the entire length of each digit, creating smoother and more lifelike motion. The wrist joint operates through a system of cross tendons, allowing rotation and flexion that closely matches human wrist capabilities. Beyond the hands, the torso and limbs follow the same biomimetic blueprint. The spine consists of stacked vertebrae-like segments connected by flexible actuators. This structure permits bending, twisting, and subtle postural adjustments. The shoulders and hips use ball and socket joints, similar to human anatomy, granting wide ranges of motion. The legs incorporate muscle groups that work in opposition, flexing and extending to generate walking movements. Clone Robotics designed the feet with multiple articulation points, enabling balance adjustments and adaptive responses to uneven surfaces. Protoclone integrates advanced sensors throughout its body. These sensors monitor tension in artificial muscles, angles of joints, and external forces applied to the structure. The data flows into AI control systems that process inputs and generate motor commands in real time. This feedback loop allows the robot to adjust its movements dynamically. If Protoclone lifts an object heavier than anticipated, sensors detect increased muscle tension and the control system compensates by recruiting additional muscle fibers or altering grip strength. This adaptive behavior contrasts sharply with older robots that execute pre-programmed sequences without real-time adjustment. The artificial muscles themselves rely on materials that respond to electrical signals. When current passes through these materials, they contract, Removing the current allows them to relax. This mimics the electrochemical process in biological muscles where nerve impulses trigger contraction. Clone Robotics has not disclosed the exact composition of these artificial muscles, but similar systems in robotics research use polymers, shaped memory alloys, or electroactive materials. The advantage of such systems lies in their compliance. Unlike rigid motors that push and pull with fixed force, artificial muscles can modulate their output smoothly, creating motion that appears organic. Protoclone also incorporates a thermal regulation system. The robot can sweat, releasing moisture to cool its components during operation. 
This feature addresses a practical challenge in densely packed robotic systems where heat buildup can damage electronics and reduce performance. By mimicking biological cooling, Clone Robotics achieves a dual purpose – maintaining operational efficiency and demonstrating the versatility of biomimetic design. The AI control systems governing Protoclone interpret sensory data and coordinate muscle activation across the entire body. Traditional robots often separate perception and action into distinct modules. Protoclone integrates these functions more tightly. The AI learns patterns of movement through training, adjusting muscle recruitment and timing to achieve desired tasks. This approach aligns with developments in machine learning, where models improve performance through iterative experience rather than rigid programming. Clone Robotics positions Protoclone as a platform for exploring human-robot interaction and advanced automation. The company suggests applications in healthcare where robots might assist with patient mobility or perform delicate procedures requiring fine motor control. Service industries could deploy such robots in environments where human-like dexterity and adaptability offer advantages over specialized machines. Domestic settings represent another potential market, with robots handling household tasks that demand versatility and gentle manipulation. The broader robotics industry in late 2025 shows accelerated movement toward humanoid platforms with sophisticated sensing and actuation. Tesla continues developing Optimus with units deployed in limited factory trials. Figure AI launched Figure 03 in 2025, marking a significant iteration beyond their earlier Figure 01 platform. Figure 03 incorporates enhanced vision systems, improved manipulators, and faster processing capabilities for warehouse and manufacturing environments. Boston Dynamics maintains Atlas as a research platform demonstrating agility, balance, and complex locomotion. These efforts share a common thread, pushing robots beyond narrow task execution toward general-purpose machines capable of operating in unstructured environments. Protoclone distinguishes itself through its commitment to anatomical fidelity. While Figure 03 prioritizes operational speed and task completion in industrial settings and Tesla's Optimus focuses on scalable manufacturing and cost reduction, Clone Robotics emphasizes biological realism. This choice carries implications for both capabilities and limitations. A robot that moves like a human may excel in tasks designed for human ergonomics and spaces. It may also face challenges in scenarios where non-human designs prove more efficient. The value proposition depends on context and application. The scalability of Protoclone's design remains an open question as of December 2025. Manufacturing over 1,000 artificial muscles per unit introduces complexity and cost. Traditional robots benefit from mass-produced motors and standardized components. Biomimetic systems require custom fabrication and assembly potentially limiting production volumes and driving up prices. Clone Robotics has not publicly disclosed timelines for commercial deployment or pricing structures. Performance metrics for Proto-Clone include its degrees of freedom, muscle count, and sensor integration. Clone Robotics reports that the robot can perform tasks requiring fine manipulation such as grasping fragile objects or assembling small components. The walking gait appears smooth, though speed and endurance figures have not been specified. Protoclone operates within a competitive landscape where multiple approaches coexist in December 2025. Figure 03 demonstrates how quickly platforms evolve, moving from prototype to third-generation industrial deployment. Clone Robotics emphasizes biomimetic design, while competitors prioritize speed, strength, and AI autonomy. Whether this biomimetic path proves superior to the conventional architectures of Figure 03 or Optimus depends on performance in diverse applications and cost-effectiveness. The robot from Warsaw challenges assumptions about what robots must look and move like, offering a vision where machines adapt fluidly to human environments.
<laughs> a Chinese startup founded just two years ago has built a humanoid robot capable of delivering kicks powerful enough to send its own CEO flying to the ground. The company behind this machine called Engine AI emerged from seemingly nowhere in late 2023 and is now producing robots that perform spinning kicks and airborne maneuvers and combat style movements. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> Engine AI was established in October 2023 by Zhao Tongyang, who is a serial robotics entrepreneur who previously led humanoid robotics development at electric vehicle maker Xpeng. The startup secured approximately $140 million in funding across its pre-A++ and A1 rounds with backing from Xpeng-affiliated Rockets Capital and JD.com. According to PitchBook, the company has raised $181 million total and employs more than 150 project engineers. Engine AI operates from Shenzhen, which is often called the Chinese Silicon Valley, where it competes alongside established players like UbiTech Robotics and Unitree and Limex Dynamics. The T800 stands 173 centimeters tall and weighs 75 kilograms. The robot features 29 degrees of freedom across its body, plus 7 degrees of freedom per three-fingered hand. Its magnesium aluminum alloy exoskeleton provides durability while maintaining a lightweight profile. The machine generates a maximum joint torque of 450 newton meters, which is a figure that Engine AI claims surpasses 90% of men in their prime. It runs on a modular solid-state lithium battery that provides 4 to 5 hours of continuous operation. The robot can move at speeds up to 3 meters per second. When Engine AI unveiled the T800 on December 2, 2025, the dramatic launch video immediately sparked controversy. The footage showed the robot kicking open doors and performing round kicks in a dark studio with cinematic lighting. Many viewers accused the company of using computer-generated imagery. The company explicitly stated the performance utilized no CGI, no AI, no video speedup, but the heavy post-processing and stylized editing led to widespread skepticism across social media platforms. Engine AI responded by releasing behind-the-scenes footage showing the T-800 completing the same actions with visible, mechanical detail. The robotics firm explained that the movements are driven by its physical specifications, including the 450 newton meters of joint torque. On December 6, 2025, the company took an unprecedented step. CEO Zhao Tongyang put on protective padding and allowed the T-800 to kick him. The robot's first kick missed when Tongyang backed away. 
The second kick connected with his torso and sent him flying to the ground. The demonstration was filmed from multiple angles and posted to social media. This controversy mirrors a similar incident involving another Chinese company. Xpeng debuted its Iron Robot at AI Day 2025 with a surprisingly human-like gait leading to speculation that a human performer was inside a suit. Xpeng released follow-up videos showing the robot's mechanical skeleton and internal actuators to settle the debate. As robotics become more agile and visually impressive, companies are increasingly forced to provide raw evidence to prove authenticity. Engine AI's rapid development trajectory stands out. The company launched its first bipedal robot called the SA-01 in July 2024. It released its flagship SE-01 full-size humanoid in October 2024, priced between $20,000 and $30,000. In December 2024, it launched the PM-01 humanoid, priced at roughly $12,000 to $13,700, undercutting competitors like Unitree's G1. On February 23, 2025, Engine AI released video showing its PM01 humanoid performing the world's first front flip by a humanoid robot. The T800 is now available for pre-order on JD.com. The base model starts at 180,000 yuan, which is approximately $25,000. An ecosystem model with open source capabilities sells for $33,000. The Pro model with an upgraded processor costs $38,500. The flagship Max model is priced at $50,000. A $700 deposit secures delivery in June 2026. Engine AI is preparing the T-800 for its inaugural Mecha King robot boxing event scheduled for late December 2025 in Shenzhen. According to the company, the event will feature full-scale humanoids and introduce rules that demand real-time intelligent decision-making. The company plans to open source the robot code for customization and training purposes. China's government has made robotics and artificial intelligence strategic national priorities. In January 2025, China launched an $8.2 billion National AI Industry Investment Fund. The broader $138 billion National Venture Capital Guidance Fund targets AI-related fields, including robotics and embodied intelligence. Beijing announced a 100 billion yuan fund with a 15-year lifespan to support AI and robotics in February 2025. Shanghai established an embodied AI fund with an initial closing of 560 million yuan.